efficiency of a source EMF. Suppose for any appliances, see this is the appliance, appliance and this is output, this is input. We are giving input to the appliance and it is giving output. So the efficiency is given by, efficiency is how it is defined, output, output and the numerator output divided by in the bottom is input because whatever input is given it is need not to be converted into output whatever we are giving input some portion will be lost in the form of friction therefore input will be more output will be less therefore the efficiency is always less than one that is less than hundred percentage so now we can write efficiency means output here in terms of source of the EMF. Let us take as EMF. That's a bat battery. This is the battery with internal resistance R. And this is a total battery. And it is connected to an external load with external resistance R. This is or this is EMF of the battery and this is a total battery which is having which has got an internal resistance so efficiency of a source of a EMF is the ratio of output power to the input power so efficiency can be also written as efficiency okay. it, it is written by this letter is equal to output power power divided by input power input power what is the output power output is given to this this one this is the power given output and this is the input power p input power some power is lost in the internal resistance of the battery so that is we can write p output P output is equal to output power. Output power, output power is what? That is power consumed by external resistance. That is power consumed by external external resistance R. External resistance R power external resistance R so we can say P output okay and as it is we know power is equal to is equal to voltage into current we can write it any form what is input power input power input power because this battery is giving input because this is only supplying power to this external load as well as some power to the internal internal resistance input power is equal to power of battery power of battery what is the power of battery power of the battery that is emf of the battery into the current see emf emf is voltage here voltage it is giving an emf of this emf into current what about this one power consumed and p call pr is equal to power consumed power consumed consumed by internal resistance internal resistance why why because this is this is giving some power and power also can be written written as i square r see this is giving current in this direction so power is equal to power some power is consumed here due to this one because i is flowing and same i is current is also flowing here so there will be i square into r that is the power loss so we can say power supplied by the battery is equal to power supply input power p input input is equal to p output plus p power lost in the internal resistance internal resistance so 
this battery is supplying power which is consumed here as well as here what is p output p output p output we have written p output is equal to e into i because voltage into voltage into current p output is equal to e into i what about the e power input power input sorry this is power input that is given by the battery p output v into i because it develops a voltage of v v into i v into i or we can say i square into r we can write in any form the power consumed in the internal resistance what is the power consumed in the internal resistance power consumed in the internal resistance is equal to power is equal to i square r current square into r or we can say power output is equal to power input is equal to what is the power input power input is equal to and you know efficiency is equal to power output power output by power input what is power output power output is equal to v into i and power input power input power input is equal to e into i so we can cancel v by epsilon what is the value of epsilon and v is equal to i into r because the voltage is equal to i into this r what about epsilon here c emf supplied is equal to voltage supplied by the battery is equal to voltage across the battery voltage across the external resistance into voltage across the internal resistance or this is equal to i into r plus i into r therefore this we can write i into r plus r therefore this expression we written this will be this which is equal to i into r plus r is equal to r by r plus r therefore efficiency efficiency of a battery of this battery which is supply which is a source of emf can be written as output power by output power by input power we can write it output power by input power r external resistance divided by total resistance that is external resistance plus internal resistance we can write it in this form also otherwise p output efficiency efficiency is equal to p output by p input what is p output p out we p output is equal to what is the p output output is equal to v i square into r i square output is equal to i square into r because output we have written output is this v into i i square r this we can write i square into r divided by what is p input p input is equal to p input as per this equation p input input is, this is the p input p output is equal to i square by r and p input is equal to p input is we have written p input is equal to epsilon into i where epsilon is equal to epsilon it is equal to epsilon into i is equal to i square r and divided by what is the value of epsilon i into r plus r into i cancelling this cancelling this so efficiency can be given in this way also so in fact r plus r this gives the we can derive this way or this way or this way in terms the efficiency of a battery source the efficiency of a source of emf given by this expression that is external resistance divided by the total resistance this is total resistance internal resistance plus external resistance is that internal resistance plus external resistance is the total resistance so this is the expression maximum power theorem the output power of a source see let us have this diagram this this is a battery with internal resistance and output output is taken from the 
external resistance external resistance this is power output is taken here and and the current is flow, flowing this way this way so by max maximum power theorem the output power of a source here source of emf this is the source of emf source of emf this is the that is battery source of emf when when the power output of a source of emf will be maximum when the external resistance when the external resistance is equal to internal resistance in that condition the power output power output will be power output maximum this is maximum maximum power theorem to repeat the output power of a source of emf is maximum when external resistance r is equal to the internal resistance r smaller of the source so we know the power output power output is equal to power consumed power consumed by external resistance that is r power consumed by the external as it is we know power is equal to what is power is equal to voltage into a pv into i where i is equal to i in the circuit i is equal to total emf by total resistance total emf by total resistance and power what about the power power is equal to or we can write i square r vi can be written as i square r is equal to epsilon naught by r plus r that is i and its square this is r is equal to power is equal to epsilon naught square r divided by r plus r whole square so it means this is the general expression for the power for power to be maximum power p naught is equal to power consumed by the external resistance that is to be maximum the condition is given power consumed by external maximum to be maximum maximum when we differentiate this one we call it differentiate this one deep output power with respect to resistance and equal to zero this is the condition the output power to be maximum differentiate power output power output with respect to the external resistance then we will get the condition that is r is equal to r for maximum output so it means we differentiate what is p p is equal to epsilon naught square epsilon square into r divided by r plus r whole square that is dp by dr this we will keep see already we have seen u by v formula of differentiation is equal to v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by denominator square so here u is equal to u is equal to epsilon square into r and it's a derivative with respect to r du u dash that is u dash u dash derivative of numerator with respect to r so this with respect to r mean the r will go is equal to epsilon square and v v is equal to r plus r whole square and v dash derivative of this one with respect to r is equal to 2 into 2 into r plus r into 1 because we are differentiating with respect to r differentiation after that differentiation of r is equal to 1 this is equal to 0 so v this is v dash so we can write the formula is v v is denominator r plus r whole square into u dash u dash is equal to epsilon dot square minus minus what is v u u is equal to epsilon naught square into r and v dash v dash is equal to 
n to 2 into r plus r which is to be equated to 0 because dp by d which we have to equate to 0 it means we can commonly we can take epsilon r square here also we can take this out and we have taken this out and 1 r plus r we can take it out sorry we have forgotten this one it dash divided by v square v is equal to r plus r whole square well, that is r plus r r plus r whole square and 8 square so now if you take common is e square this we can write denominator r plus r to the power 4 so we have taken this one then we can take 1 r plus r also out so this equation become r plus r left out is 1 r plus r minus 2 into r and this is only a left out which is equal to 0 so now after seeing this equation now this is simple di di differentiation this has been taken in the basic mathematics for physics for differentiation how to take u by v formula that is a de derivative of this form u by v is already explained in the basics mathematics for physics so this zero we can write it here zero we can write it here since this is multiplied this all are multiplied so when we take this one when the, we take all this one this is zero into r plus r to the power 4 divided by epsilon dot square is equal to r plus r minus 2r r we can write minus 2r plus r is equal to 0 and anything is equal to 0 or r is equal to r and this is the result it means when internal resistance is equal to external resistance the output power the output power will be maximum at this condition this is known as maximum power theorem in this condition for power output to be maximum the condition is external resistance should be equal to internal resistance where r is equal to internal resistance of the battery of the battery and r is equal to external resistance that is r we can say load resistance efficiency of the emf efficiency of the battery when delivering maximum power is 50 percent we know as it is this is the circuit no circuit with internal resistance this is the battery and this is external resistance r r into epsilon dot see what is the efficiency efficiency as it is we know the efficiency of a em source of emf is given by external resistance divided by internal resistance this is the efficiency of the battery so when when it is when battery is giving maximum power by maximum power theorem power theorem maximum power power is equal to p max power means nothing there is a output power this is p output p is equal to p maximum what is the value of power in this condition the internal resistance must be equal to external resistance and therefore you can say efficiency is equal to r by r plus r so where r is equal to r for maximum efficiency maximum power dissipation power delivered by the battery in that condition since we can different efficiency is equal to r divided by r this r can be replaced by r or this r can be replaced by this r can be replaced by smaller whatever so this is equal to 
r divided by 2 r is equal to half is equal to 0.5 so efficiency the it means efficiency is equal to 50% only therefore efficiency of battery when delivering maximum power is 50% of its battery if it's power delivered 50% of its total power delivered therefore power consumed by r let us have the circuit first this is the battery and this is internal resistance and this is the external resistance and this is gives output p output and this is the battery with em of i and this is the internal resistance now power consumed consumed power consumed by external resistance external resistance r external resistance what is the power power is equal to v into i r i square r r v square by r so the power by the external resistance r that is nothing but output this is external resistance current is flowing this way so power by external resistance is equal to current flowing through this one square into r what is i i i in general is equal to total battery voltage divided by total resistance or i is equal to epsilon by r plus r r epsilon divided by r plus r that is i for i is equal to i maximum i is equal to i maximum r is equal to r this we have therefore i max from this expression <coughs> by 2 r r this by 2 r this is the maximum current so this is equal to okay now i square maximum power consumed power consumed by r power consumed by r is equal to at r is equal to r power consumed power consumed by r is equal to i square into r so where this is equal to i square for maximum power so we can write it as epsilon by r plus r whole square into r we can write power consumed by r for maximum power con maximum power consumed for maximum for maximum power consumed by r that is nothing but output so maximum power is equal to what is maximum power maximum power is equal to i square where for i is equal to you can use this one i square into r is equal to epsilon by 2 r whole square into r is equal to epsilon square by 4 r square into r is equal to emf square by 4 r this is the power maximum consumed now let us summarize everything see the efficiency is given by this expression current is given by this expression then <coughs> let us see for this is the power output that is power consumed in the external resistance this is power consumed by the power consumed by the internal resistance and total so first let us see power output power output is equal to i square into r and i what is the value of i i is equal to epsilon r by r plus r whole square into r for p maximum output is equal to in that condition r is equal to <coughs> r is equal to r that is epsilon by by r plus r whole square n to r so this is equal to this r plus r to r this is 4 r square n to r is equal to epsilon by 4 r r we can write like this also because this and this are same that is p of output maximum let us come to p input P input is equal to m of the battery into 
current is equal to em of the battery into current is equal to net em of divided by r plus r is equal to this r plus r p in maximum maximum is equal to a into i maximum what is i maximum i is equal to epsilon by r plus r is equal to by r plus r for i maximum because for maximum this condition applies for maximum r is equal to r this condition applies therefore i maximum is equal to a by 2r r epsilon by 2r so this is for i maximum and p in is equal to e maximum is equal to e into i maximum is equal to epsilon by 2r is equal to epsilon by by 2r this we can apply both the both the conditions therefore p p in maximum is equal to this is the value next one more important condition when the battery is shorted shorted means earlier this is the v the battery this is the battery with internal resistance and with supplying current to the external resistance this is external resistance let us write it so external internal resistance em of the current flows see when the battery is shorted when battery is shorted the circuit diagram will go like this it means it is being shorted this is internal resistance this is emf and this portion shorted shorted means r is equal to 0 when r is equal to 0 what happened to the see the basic expression for current is equal to epsilon by r plus r this is the expression for current and power 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 is equal to v power in this one power entire power is equal to i square into r power output we can see it power output what about the power output power output is equal to power output power output is equal to i square r since this portion is equal to 0 is equal to 0 power output is equal to 0 that that is the power delivered to external resistance that is load is equal to 0 it means power output is equal to 0 because this is not the so the power is equal to i into r which is equal to 0 this is the power delivered then what see what will happen see now the power are developed the here is equal to 0 it means here power output is equal to 0 what will happen because the current will flow like this i it will flow also like this so the power power delivered is equal to power in internal resistance internal resistance r so what will be so power deliver in the internal resistance is equal to current into current into resistance since r what is i i is equal to since r is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 i square r so this is e by r plus r into r is equal to square square this is e square by r square into r since r is equal to zero the circuit is shorted when it is shorted this is the way the equation appears that is e square by r this is the power delivered in the resistor now we see when it is shorted there is no power delivered it means the entire power is delivered here the entire power of the battery is dissipated as heat inside the battery that therefore 
here there is no power only the entire power is here only so and the entire power of battery of the battery is dissipated is dissipated as heat because it 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 will evolve then this is inside the battery dissipated as heat dissipated at inside the battery inside the the battery inside the battery because this everything is happen this internal resistance is inside the battery due to internal resistance inside the battery due to internal resistance 